Chbilsky's star was discovered in the 1960s. Since then, astronomers have been intrigued by its unique chemical makeup. The star is suspected to contain ultra-rare elements, verging on the almost impossible. Using special equipment on the European Southern Observatory's telescope in Chile, researchers took readings of the star's magnetic field. They discovered that the star's rotation period, which is the time it takes to finish one revolution on its axis, stretches out over almost 200 years, which is super slow. Of course, there are even more bizarre objects called app stars. They're a chemically interesting category of stars that rotate extremely slowly, with one rotation taking up to 1,000 years. What makes these stars even more peculiar is a wide range of chemical elements astronomers detect when analyzing their stellar spectrums. But if we look at Chbilsky's star, we'll see that it's both similar to and different from other app stars. It contains unusually low amounts of iron and nickel. Our sun has 10 times more and incredibly high amounts of rare, heavy elements. Those might include strontium, cesium, and neodymium, as well as at least two undiscovered elements. They wouldn't occur through any natural processes we currently understand. There's a hypothesis that the presence of such heavy elements could be caused by a star's unseen companion, like a neutron star. Some people go as far as to say that such an incredible chemical makeup could be a sign of an alien techno-signature. Any specialist will tell you that it's the strangest stellar spectrum they've ever observed. Some even claim that there are so many chemical indicator lines you can't immediately understand what you're looking at while observing the star's spectrum. Chbilsky's star also contains high levels of radioactive elements that take a few thousand years to decay. And here's where another mystery lies. They should have long vanished from the star. After all, it's almost a billion and a half years old. Scientists haven't managed to figure out the reason for the presence of these elements yet. Maybe it's the combination of the star's rare qualities. It spins very slowly, it's hot, and it has a strong magnetic field. This could raise to the surface atoms that would normally be mixed inside the star. There's another theory that explains the presence of these radioactive elements. They could be there as if they were themselves decayed forms of ultra-heavy elements that we haven't discovered yet. So far, no one has been able to prove this theory. Even the discovery of Chbilsky's star's super-slow rotation doesn't bring us closer to the answer. It's obvious that there's a lot to learn about the bizarre star, and who knows which secret it still has up its sleeve. Another not less mysterious star is called Tabby's star. It's a sun-like orb around 1,500 light-years away from Earth, sitting in Cygnus the Swan. Unlike our sun, this star dims randomly by 5 to 22 percent, and it lasts for days at a time. The reason could be a giant planet passing in front of the star, but then the eclipses would be more regular and not so random. And if it was a Jupiter-sized planet, it would also need to block around 1% of the star's light, which would make it unique and unlike anything we know. After American astronomer Tabitha Boyajian discovered the star's massive and irregular fluctuations in 2015, further observations followed. They show that the overall magnitude of the star has been gradually dimming over the years. Some theories trying to explain this phenomenon are quite believable. For example, some scientists think that these brightness changes are intrinsic to the star. They could be caused by its magnetism or changes in heat flow in its interior. Other ideas are more daring, including some kinds of activity of an extraterrestrial civilization. One of the most plausible theories, though, is that the dimming is caused by the chunks of an orphaned exomoon. It could have been pulled away from its parent planet by gravitational interactions with Tabby's star. As the moon approached the star, it exploded, sending dust clouds into stellar orbit. These countless chunks of rock and dust are now moving between Tabby's star and Earth in a giant, clumpy cloud. It could indeed explain why we observe such irregular brightness variations. Usually, when astronomers spot a spiral arm structure, it turns out to be a galaxy. But not in this case. SAO 206462, located 460 light-years away from our home planet, is a young star. 
It's surrounded by a circular disk of gas and clearly defined spiral arms. The bizarre star was spotted during an exoplanet search with the help of the Subaru telescope located in Hawaii. Instead of finding fully-fledged planets around a young star, astronomers discovered planets that were still in formation. These baby planets are growing out of the disk of gas and dust surrounding the star. The disk extends out to around 80 astronomical units, which is twice the orbit of Pluto. At least two of these planets have stretched the disk into its extremely unusual spiral shape. A different planet is responsible for each arm. In our home galaxy, there's a giant star that is a real stellar wind machine. At the moment, this monster is just waiting to burst and send a wave of radiation and hot gas towards Earth. All because it's a wolf rayet a star which is at that precarious point before it goes supernova. Its core doesn't have any more helium left to burn. Instead, the star is forced to churn through much heavier elements, for example, oxygen. Unfortunately, it disrupts the careful balance between gravity and fusion, leading to the star shedding its layers. When the oxygen eventually runs out, the star will go supernova. But this time, the show will be different. The thing is, WR104 is one half of a binary pair, which means that two stars are feeding into each other, spinning up their stellar winds. It will continue until they start going incredibly fast. Is the potential explosion going to harm Earth? On the one hand, we're far away enough for even a directed supernova to not hurt our planet. At the same time, there's a threat of an extremely dangerous gamma ray burst. Luckily for us, it takes a very specific and unlikely train of events for a wolf ray to produce a gamma ray burst. Plus, even if it does, the star might be pointed far away enough for the danger to miss us. Anyway, astronomers are still watching the star, just in case. A star sitting in the constellation of Centaurus keeps a secret not many know about. At first glance, it looks like a dim white dwarf. But when astronomers analyzed it, it turns out to be incredibly dense. Take the mass of the Sun and cram it into something that is only a third the diameter of Earth. This space wonder is also rather cool. Its core temperature is a mere 11,900 degrees Fahrenheit. For comparison, the Sun's core temperature is around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. At such low temperatures, stars begin to vibrate. And then, scientists can use these vibrations to sneak a peek inside a star. And in the case with the star in question, which was later named Lucy, they discovered that its carbon core had crystallized. In other words, it formed a giant diamond 10 billion trillion trillion carats in size. Since the discovery of Lucy, a few other crystallized stars have been spotted. Some of them have diamond hearts the size of our planet. The last bizarre star for today is called Vega and it's squashed. The star's bulging waistline is caused by an extremely high spin rate. Vega rotates once every 12 and a half hours. This pushes the material around its equator outward. It also leads to the phenomenon known as gravity darkening when stellar material further from the center of the star experiences less gravity, which makes it cooler and darker. So when Vega faces Earth pole end on, it looks perfectly round. But the dark halo around its middle is a telltale sign of Vega's oblate shape. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.